Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lillian Love and this is Style on a Curve. And today we're talking about five things that you need to get out of your closet now. Let's get into it. Number one, do you have clothes in your closet that you haven't worn in months or maybe even years or even worse? You have things in your closet that are brand new, never worn, still has a price tag on it, and you've never worn it, it's time to get rid of it. I personally have things in my closet that I haven't worn in a long time, and I also have things in my closet with the price tag still on it that I never wore it. Sometimes it wasn't really that I really loved that thing that I bought, it was more so I just loved the thrill of shopping. So I'm probably never really going to wear those things. And for a lot of us, we either work from home now, we haven't had an office job or an in-person job in a long time. So really our lives have changed and it's not really realistic to wear that fresh new outfit to the office every day because you're not going to the office every day. So you really have to reevaluate the things in your closet to see, do I still really need these things? Do I still really love these things? Or should I give it away? So I have these two dresses, tags still attached, that I got from Boohoo that I never wore. And I bought these, <laughs> I bought these during the pandemic. And I was thinking, oh, you know, we'll be back in the office in no time. And I just never wore them. And it's not that they're not cute, it's just I have plenty of other clothes that I would probably wear before I wear these. So these are definitely going. But just for fun, we're gonna try them on anyway. <laughs> kind of maybe remember a little bit maybe why I didn't wear it before because I feel like I think I lost some weight and maybe at the time when I tried it on I felt like this was tight and it kind of like every time I would walk like you know your crotch would show so I think that's probably why I never wore it it's really cute I do like it but I'm leaning more towards getting rid of it because I highly doubt I'm gonna wear this. Today I'm sketching Aaliyah and I hope you enjoy it. Okay. It's really cute. And I do really like it, but I have so many dresses that I could wear before I wear this, so. Probably not keeping it. Number two, we all have things in our closet that might be too big or even too small for us. And then you say to yourself, well, one day I'm going to lose weight and then I'll wear it again. Or you might say, well, one day I'm going to gain weight and wear it again. If you're anything like me, I kind of fluctuate in my weight. It goes up and down and you'll say, oh, I lost weight. But what if... What if I gain the weight back again? Then what? If it doesn't fit you how you are right now, then get rid of it. If you've said to yourself that you're going to fix it, you're going to get it altered, get it tailored, take it in, take it out, let the hem out, and it's been a year and you still haven't done it, most likely get rid of it get something that does fit you. If you know how to sew yourself and you also have a friend who sews, sometimes you can swap clothes and fix each other's things because you know that you're not going to get to it yourself. But if it's something you're doing for someone else, it's amazing how you figure out how to get to it. Keeping really nice, well-made pieces in your closet is definitely recommended. Those things are worth taking to get altered. I personally enjoy watching Marie Kondo and she talks about if something doesn't bring you joy right now in the moment, if you look at this thing and ask, does it bring you joy? And if the answer is no, then get rid of it. And if for some reason you were to gain weight later or lose weight later, then you can buy something else when that time comes. Deep down in the back of our minds, sometimes we have to admit to ourselves that we're operating in fear because you might say to yourself like, well, what if I don't have 
have money to buy something new in the future. You never want to make a bunch of decisions because you're operating in fear. Letting go of things and letting go of clutter also opens you up to receiving new opportunities. I have quite a few of these dresses, the floral dresses, and you know, even though they are cute, they're pretty old, and these are things that I used to wear when I was, you know, dating an old boyfriend in the past, and they kind of remind me of that time, so this is going. <laughs> um, I don't know, I used to wear this to work, and I'm probably just never going to wear this, so. Again couple of floral dresses that I wore when I was dating someone and it kind of reminds me of them so mm. and this I don't know I feel like this is the old Lillian I feel like I've elevated my style a little bit more the fabric is pretty cheap you know I think I where did I get this from I don't even know where I got this from but it's gonna go Number three, getting rid of things that are either out of style, it's just not your style anymore, or it's not flattering for your body. I know sometimes people say they want to keep things that are out of style because they come back in again. With that, I would say keep things that are more classic and timeless. They're always in, they'll probably never go out of style, like a really great blazer maybe a trench coat or something like that but if it's something more like it was a trend it was a fad and it's probably not coming back again anytime soon if it's wildly out of style and looks really dated get rid of it <laughs> sometimes it may not be out of style but it's simply just not your style anymore i love to constantly change and elevate my personal style and sometimes i can look at something and say that was the old Lillian. That's not really who I am right now. It's not my style right now. Or maybe it's just not flattering to my body and you have to be really honest with yourself or maybe get a friend or a family member that you trust and ask them, is this flattering for my body? And if the answer is no, then get rid of it. Even if something is in style, it may not be right for you. Or maybe it just wasn't the right fit for your body. I have a couple of these that just aren't my style anymore and plus the cutouts just made it hard to wear. These just simply aren't my style anymore. So I'm getting rid of these. And this tie-dye dress, although cute, it's just kind of dated so definitely getting rid of this. Number four. Clothing that is just really cheap, not well made, and it has holes or stains in them. And this includes your undergarments. If you have clothes that just aren't made very well and has very cheap see-through fabric, it has holes, tears, it has stains, bleach stains. If you have um, underwear and bras where the underwire is coming out, it has holes, rips, tears, bleach stains get rid of it sometimes people will get into a habit of just wanting to keep things because they say well I don't want to spend more money or I don't want to get rid of this thing or you're attached to it for whatever reason but you have to know that you deserve to have nice clothes well-made clothes you deserve to have nice undergarments if you know that if someone were to open up your door to your undergarments and you would feel embarrassed, get rid of it. You deserve to have nice undergarments. You deserve to have nice clothes. As someone who sews, sometimes people would bring things to me like some little three or five dollar little tank top and they want me to fix the strap or fix a hole or something like that. They want me to take it in or take it out. And honestly, if it's under $50, I would say just get a new one because by the time you pay for alterations, that's gonna cost more than what the piece of clothing cost in the first place. And a lot of that is really self-care. I think when we talk about self-care, we think about maybe, you know, getting your nails done, going to the spa, you know, doing different things, maybe even working out, but also self-care is also realizing you deserve a nice underwear drawer. <laughs> you 
deserve clothes that don't have holes and stains in them. Even if no one else sees that thing, even if it's just pajamas that you wear around the house, sometimes it's time to get new pajamas. You deserve to have nice pajamas. You deserve to have nice loungewear. If you know that you were able to fix a few small things, a, a rip or a tear or a hole, then great. But if you know you're never going to get to it, go ahead and get rid of it. I start my sketches with pencil and paper. I use mechanical pencils and then I will put it in my Surface Pro and then I'll color it digitally. How do you guys like my sketch? Is it close? Did I get it right? Comment below and let me know what you think. Number five, get rid of things that are connected to bad memories. I noticed that for me, anytime I wear something to a funeral, I never end up wearing it ever again. And it's not even like I was consciously just not wearing it. It just ends up happening. And, but it doesn't even have to be something that serious. Maybe it reminds you of an ex. If it reminds you of someone that you used to date, get rid of it. If there's some type of bad memory that's connected to something in your closet, go ahead and get rid of it. And this goes far beyond clothes. This can also go for things around the house. At the same time, there may be some things in your closet that give you good memories. Maybe there's an old sweater that your grandma gave you. Or maybe there's some things like keepsakes, like a wedding dress, a prom dress. These things, it's perfectly okay to maybe put it in a chest, put it in a place where it can be kept safe. Sometimes people like to pass these things down. It's perfectly fine to maybe put some things in a shadow box. By putting something in a shadow box, now it's no longer in your closet, it's no longer in a bin taking up space, now it's in a shadow box, it's on the wall, it's being displayed, or you can put it on your bookshelf or something so that way it's being displayed for everyone to see. But sometimes, sometimes we can be holding on to things maybe even out of obligation. Sometimes people might cut a swatch of something and take a picture of it and then put it in a photo album. So that way you can keep the memory, but not necessarily keep the thing that's taking up space and bringing clutter to your home. Ask yourself if these things bring you joy. If they don't bring you joy, if it brings frustration, if you feel overwhelmed, if you feel irritated, or if you feel like, all these clothes just get in my way, then definitely consider getting rid of some things. I have a closet that has rolling doors. Sometimes I really don't like the rolling doors because it gets in the way of me getting to everything in my closet, but I would have like clean laundry baskets and I would pile it up in front of my closet and it would take time for me to fold everything and put it away. So it was really frustrating me to have these clothes in the way of my closet and I also have a closet that is kind of hard to get to and I just thought to myself, as much as I love clothes and as much as I love fashion, if it's making me frustrated, if I'm getting irritated, if it's getting in the way, if instead of being closed, it's becoming clutter, it's time to get rid of some things. It's time to purge. And there's so much happiness and clarity that comes with getting organized and getting rid of things that you simply don't need. If you have things in your closet where you feel like maybe it's too fancy for you to wear it or you don't have anywhere to wear it to, then I would say join some groups get involved go out and have a fun photo shoot with your friends and just have a good time life is too short to not wear the nice stuff but if you know there's things in your closet that you're never going to wear go ahead and get rid of it another good rule is if everything i have doesn't fit in my closet and in my drawers it's time to get rid of some things some places that you can give things away because we don't want to be wasteful. Of course, you can give things away to the Goodwill, thrift stores, but you can also have a giveaway party. This is where you invite your friends over and you all bring things that you need to get rid of. And then each of you can look around and maybe find some things that you actually need and you give away the things that you don't need to your friends. You do have to be careful that you're not giving away junk just to get more junk. 
this is a good way to invite all of your friends over. You guys can all clean your homes and purge and cleanse together, getting rid of some things, maybe finding some things that you actually do need. And then everything that isn't picked up by someone, you can all go to Goodwill and donate all of those things. So it's a win-win situation. There are organizations that will give clothing away to veterans. You can give things away to friends and family. You can give things away to people who actually need these things. And some things you can even throw it in the trash. If it has holes, tears, and stains in it, sometimes it's best just to throw things in the trash. And at the end of the day, if you feel like, Lil, I just can't bring myself to fully just get rid of things, then I would say this. All the things that you are thinking about getting rid of it, but you can't bring yourself to actually get rid of it, get a couple of bins. And I say maybe two because you don't want a million bins in the garage also taking up space. Get maybe two, three tops. Get those bins. Put all of those things in those bins. Go ahead and close them up, seal them up so nothing can get into it. Put them in the garage. If you don't touch those things in one year, get rid of it. If you never go in the bin and you never take those things, you don't even think about them for the entire year, then that is your sign that you really don't need it and get rid of it. And you don't need to go through it because you know you already went through it and you never touched it. So you don't need it. How did you like the video today? Comment below and let me know what you think. If you liked what you saw here today, definitely like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can get a notification every time I upload a video. If you like what you saw here today, this is definitely the place where you want to be. Once again, my name is Lillian Love. This is Stalin and Curve and I will see you in the next one. Bye.